the dark of the <laughs> Here I am in Plain View, Texas. About to go take a long hot shower at the Planet Fitness. And most importantly, I got an ignition and compartment key made extra. So now hopefully I won't get locked out. Thank you, Ace. All right, for the wind, this is the parking area. A little dead grass, and up there's the actual off ramp to the freeway. Hopefully, Ninja won't go beyond that. And here's the parking area. Not exactly level, but it'll do. Ninja's already out somewhere. Where's that kitty? Oh, there she is. I see that kitty. I see that kitty. Oh, here she comes. Gotta roll around, huh? Get all dirty. Ah, the lovely views from a rest area with zero amenities. Look at across the freeway at flat, flat land. Well, actually, there looks like there's... I might have to go hiking over there. Those telephone poles are. Yeehaw. Sorry about the wind. I don't know why I and other YouTubers say that because nothing we could do about it. <laughs> anyway, it looked a lot more intriguing from back of my RV. But you know what? There's the RV. As long as I'm almost halfway there, might as well check it out. Well, I made it. Definitely looks much cooler from a distance, but still pretty cool. Let's see how far I made it. A little bit. Time to head back. Hey sports fans, Ralph Luck here. I think I'm going to start trying to do my intro as Hey sports fans, welcome to RVing with Luck. I'm Ralph Luck. Tell me what you think. So, you caught me eating one of my new favorite crackers. Chips or crackers, I don't know where they, wherever they fall in the grocery store, that's what I call them. But Cheez-Its are good, but when you get the duos, this one's bacon and cheddar. They have another one that's jalapeno and like Parmesan. I just scared off Ninja. She was sleeping, keeping my legs all warm. Um, anyway, they're delicious and I'm trying to, worst thing to do is eat out of the bag. Proper thing is get a nice portion, put it onto a plate. I never do the proper thing, so that's why I'm fat. Well, that and about a 30 other reasons, but uh, thus I digress. Let's continue. So I wanted to give you an update. We came from the one pullout, which was really rough, but I got to give it to Texas. 
they do a lot of park areas picnic areas and things like that that the one i mentioned a video or two ago that was the best i've ever seen indoors bathrooms climate controlled amazing the one for the last couple of days that i left uh, this afternoon after overstaying my welcome was a partially paved area blah 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 so as you've seen i made it on the roadway i didn't do not that i do a lot of filming on the road but i literally didn't do hardly any this time because everything was flat there was no hills or mountains or a slight little tiny bit of a speck of dirt out from all vast land now uh, a lot of it was cattle which i was great i appreciate the cattle ranchers thank you for bringing us that meat and dairy products and then as i showed there were the oil rigs pumping oil and thank you because we are in desperate need of oil i wanted to say crude oil but then somebody's going to find out it's not crude oil that they do it's something else blah 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 so i'm ignorant to that so i'll just say oil and uh then here we are which you saw the quick outside tour i let ninja go out as long as she literally likes. Um, pulled in here about 10 minutes of sunset. She got to go outside during the day and kind of scope around. And uh, she, she always comes back to the screen door and meows. And then uh, once I come and see her, she goes back out. So she just wants to know that I'm here and close by and I think it makes her feel safe. Uh, then, as I kind of got relaxed in. Now, one of the first things I do before I let her out is if I'm gonna extend the bedroom slide like I have now, I extend the bedroom slide because I do have to start the engine after I get inside. I don't want to scare her. And then I put out the slide. I get all the things ready. Uh, my Balder 330 watt battery that charges my laptop or phone or lights that I need to anything that I need to lift up, tilt up, or sometimes it's a magnet, mag, mag, magnet will fall down on the road. You know, uh, Texas has some pretty good uh, interstates and roadways, but all it takes is one big bump and then a couple of magnets or um, go flying. So I get rearranged, I get all settled in and takes five or ten minutes and then I'll let Ninja outside and I let her go and explore this was the perfect time because being on the road she's underneath my seat for the most part five percent of the time she'll come hop up near me on top of her litter box where I've got her blanket uh, but most of the time she's under my seat I think she feels comfortable seeing my feet there and feeling really enclosed uh, I doubt you could hear that. It's not like a diesel heater, but it is my RV propane heater, which I turned on. I've got it set at the lowest setting of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I wish I'd be able to set it to 50 degrees because 50 degrees bundled into a sleeping bag or blankets is fine. 60 is good but it's a little more than I need so it is what it is I've got a nice remote here on my bedroom wall that I velcroed so when I'm ready to turn it off I can turn it off it also has a sleep mode or timer other things that I haven't even looked to because really I'll turn it off and and be fine although in the morning it's supposed to be close to freezing so we'll see I'm just, let's see, well, let me not start into where I'm at now. So I went down the road, got here, let Ninja out. Uh, then my next step is to go over what I thought my travel plans for the next day or two are. For example, I had planned initially to leave tomorrow to go to 
Amarillo, Amarillo, Texas, Amarillo, and that's only about 60 miles. They've got a really nice visitor center, according to iOverlanders app, that has 24-hour bathrooms that are super clean. I went on to Google Maps and got in close, and they've got all kinds of RV and semi-spots, and just amazing. Not a lot of grass, but but the one thing I looked at is the temperature's about the same as here. So tomorrow it's going to be in the around mid-60s with around the mid-30s, high-30s at night. So Ninja's got a little bit more room to wander. And the thing is, and I know I lose my train of thought here unless I cut it, but I've already lost that other thing I was going to say. Um, my plan is to make it up to South Dakota. What I need to make sure of along my trip, and there's a great app that I can't remember, but I'll put it in the description below, is that there's an app that you put where you're going, where you're at, where you're going, and you could go up to a week ahead and look at morning, mid-morning, afternoon, mid-afternoon, evening, late evening, temperatures for all those days ahead up to about a week. So it's great. So what I looked at is, okay, well, from Amarillo, Amarillo, if I head up, north to my next spot which is about an hour and 20 miles into kansas now i'm kind of detouring east into kansas only because the direct route of mount rushmore where i want to go in south dakota skirts on the west side of kansas doesn't go into kansas and i thought why be so close to kansas and not go into it so I'm going to go into small city there, into Kansas. Say that, number one, I went through Kansas. I was there. And number two, see if I could find some Kansas City barbecue. Because isn't that what Kansas City's known for? And there's Ninja back up on my legs. So as I look at my path over the days, I have to calculate what's the temperature like. Because I don't want to drive a little bit tomorrow, a little bit the next day, a little bit the next day, and find myself in Kansas, Oklahoma, South Dakota, and the highs are in the mid-30s. And I'm freezing. Since I have no time frame, really, I do want to be in northern Arizona by start of May. But I've got all of April. So since I really have no time frame... Why do I want to push myself into that much colder weather? I could wait a couple of days and slowly take my time. By the time I make it to South Dakota, the days are in the 50s and the lows are 30s. You know, 10 to 15, 20 degrees warmer than they are now. After I get that done, I then enjoy YouTube. So I've been watching Chrome and Cruzy on Van City Van Life. Uh, Matthew slayed his episode on Van Life Plus. I'm just now watching uh, Emmy and Kelly on the Van Cat Lady. The Cat Van Lady. Sorry, I don't have it down. And of course, uh, Forestry Forest and uh, RV Cheap Living with Bob, and all the shows that uh, I watch, uh, Jimmy Dore, Salty Cracker, things like that. And of course, read some of the news from uh, headlines, see what's going on in the world. And that brings me to my relaxing evening. Well, now that Ninja's come in, and when she's outside, of course, I keep the screen door open so I can hear her meow. And it was getting pretty cold, like 50. Thus the hoodie. And I switched from shorts to jeans and realized as my trip goes along, I'll be in the high of about 60. So looks like it's uh, pants for a while. 
Sorry, Chrome. I can't wear shorts all the time like you. So then, I don't want to fill up on this stuff anymore. I'm going to have my tiny late night dinner, which be just a half sandwich, one piece of bread, mayo mustard, little chicken breast lunch meat on there. That was me putting the chicken breast lunch meat on the bread. Anyway, wanted to give you this update. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all of you that subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, it's free. I'll let you in on this. It's free. Click subscribe and then move that bell, move that little arrow subscribe up to the black bell where it says all. So anytime I post a new video or go live, you'll get a little alert in YouTube. Hopefully it's not gonna bother you too much. And you might say, oh, Ralph Lux posted a new video. Let me check it out. If not, no harm, no fail. But I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, please comment. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.